Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Tuesday evening, March 5, 2024. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what the has been like in your year recently. Also feel free to ask any weather related questions that you might have about the future though they're in your specific area. Alright, so let us take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening. We can still see that the entire Atlantic Basin is being dominated by a ridge of high pressure right there, situated to the east of Bermuda. And we can see that it's responsible for sending all of those easterly trade winds across the main development region from Africa into the Caribbean. We can also see some broken lines right here across the northern portion of the main development region associated with the trough, another trough right here off the east coast of Florida. And to the north of that, we see a cold front affecting portions of the southeastern United States. If we take a look at the visible satellite images of the Atlantic before the sun went down, we can see the clouds associated with that trough situated across the northern portion of the main development region. We can also see those low level clouds pushing from east to west, especially to the north of the Caribbean, all courtesy of that high pressure ridge. <coughs> Excuse me. If we also take a look, we can see the clouds associated with the trough to the east of Florida, as well as the clouds associated with that cold front, right there stretching all the way from the Gulf of Mexico across portion of the southeastern United States. We'll be talking more about the Caribbean's weather later on. Let us focus our attention on what took place across Jamaica for today. So, we can see that before the sun actually went down, we had a mostly partly cloudy day, then during the afternoon, where some clouds building up, especially across sections of some western parishes in Jamaica and some northern parishes, so definitely sections of West Milan, Hanover, sections of St. James Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Mary, Northern, St. Catherine, and Northern, St. Andrew definitely got on some amount of overcast skies and isolated shower activity. And if we take a look at the latest infrared satellite images, we can still see those grayish patterns right there across sections of western Jamaica associated with the leftovers of those clouds still bring some amount of overcast skies and isolated shores especially to western Jamaica. If we take a look at the latest Cuban Doppler radar images we can see that we still have those greens and some slight yellows that represent some light to moderate even maybe some slightly heavy rainfall affecting sections of West Milan and Hanover as we speak. Taking a look at the temperatures right now, we can see about 27 degrees Celsius in both Montego Bay and Kingston. And by 3 a.m. on Wednesday, temperatures should dip down to about 23 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, 21 degrees Celsius in Kingston. We can see that the entire Atlantic Basin is going to be receiving above normal temperatures for tomorrow. As this map from the GFS is showing 18Z on Wednesday. When we calculate that, that's 1 p.m. on Wednesday. And we do see those above normal temperatures stretching all the way from the Gulf of Mexico across the United States into Central America, South America, the Caribbean, Jamaica, where we can actually see that we have more in, so in the way of yellows and some slight oranges that represent one to two degrees Celsius above normal temperatures. I will note the normal temperatures for the month of February are about the same as 87 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about the same as 30 degrees Celsius. So we should be receiving anywhere from 30 to 32 degrees Celsius at most for Jamaica's temperatures on Wednesday. As related to the dry air map, we can see that there is still a lot of dry air plaguing the entire Atlantic Basin. Trust me, as soon as all of this dry air starts to taper off, we're going to be getting in on more moist air, making way for more rainfall, especially afternoon rainfall in some areas. But for the time being, still a lot of dry air, at least we're not getting Saharan dust. And we can see the 2 p.m. on Wednesday forecast is for a lot of saran dust across portions of the southern main development region especially closer to africa where we have those darker shades of brown the caribbean should be in the clear for that time as related to the wave forecast we can see that by the key on the bottom right we're still in for anywhere from 0 0.5 for meter to 1 meter wave heights, as we can see by those lighter shades of blues to darker shades of blues and that's because the winds are going to be coming in from the east for the most part especially from the southeast maybe to pile up across section of northern parishes and western jamaica that's where we're going to be having those close buildings something similar to what we saw today then we have those afternoon isolated showers maybe some thunderstorms 
might be embedded within them as well and both the rainfall forecast maps from the EU and the GFS are in consensus with this showing blues that represent rainfall across sections of northern and western Jamaica so definitely sections of western Portland St. Mary St. Antrilani St. James maybe sections of Hanover and sections of Westmoreland as well and we can rule out some of that affecting sections of northwestern St. Elizabeth as well and we see that both the EU and the GFS models are in consensus with this affecting portions of the island at 3 p.m. on Wednesday and it makes sense that both the accumulated precipitation forecast maps are showing some amount of rainfall for the island for tomorrow especially northwestern Jamaica you are showing up to 0 0.22 of an inch of rainfall GFS showing up to 0 0.18 of an inch of rainfall either way we're indeed grateful that we're going to be receiving rainfall we're in the month of March we should receive up to 87.15 millimeters of rainfall during this month definitely an increase from the 65.4 millimeters in February so we'll take all the rainfall that we can get considering that we're still in the dry season to put some kind of a dent in the usual hydrological drought that we experience during these dry periods all right so that's it for the forecast across jamaica let us focus our attention on the rest of the caribbean so we do see some patches of clouds associated with the surface trough that's definitely affecting portion out of the windward islands as we speak most of the activities in the west of Dominica to the west of Martinique right now but they were definitely being plagued with some of that activity throughout the day today some isolated thunderstorm activity affected section of Cuba and we can also see some clouds affecting portions of Suriname as we speak as related to the Doppler radar images of the northeastern Caribbean we can see that for the most part the leeward islands are in the clear just some isolated pockets of showers to the east of St. Martin sections of western puerto rico especially to the northeast of puerto rico sections of the british virgin islands maybe sections of the waters in the north of the u.s virgin islands getting in on some of the action as well and if we take a look at the wider view of doppler radar images from the barbados radar side you can see that rainfall to the south and to the west of there affecting sections of st vincent and the grenadines definitely passing to the north of tobago as we speak if we take a look at the weather we have uploaded our images we can see that rainfall that we just mentioned across sections of Suriname, French Guyana, sections of Cuba not to mention that rainfall associated with the cold front that's coming from west to east to affect sections of western Florida tonight into tomorrow as it relates to the temperature forecast for tomorrow we can see that this map from the GFS is showing 18 day on Wednesday which is actually 1 p.m. on Wednesday a majority of the Caribbean including Central America South America should be receiving anywhere from 1 to at least 5 degrees Celsius above normal temperatures, especially across sections of Central America and South America. As it relates to the Saron dust forecast for 2 p.m. on Wednesday, we do see that majority of the Caribbean should be in the clear, as all the bronze that represent the Saron dust should be across the southern main development region, as well as that area right there closer to Africa, where we have those darker shades of bronze, which indicate the vigorous plume. As it relates to the wave forecast for tomorrow, we do see that majority of the Caribbean should be getting anywhere from 0.5 meter wave heights to 1.5 meter wave heights as indicated by those blues as you can see by the key on the bottom right that's because the winds are going to be coming in from the east or the east southeast or the southeast averaging anywhere from 10 to 15 knots as we can see by those greens as well as the rainfall forecast now we do see that rainfall in consensus for sections of the waters to the, of the gulf of mexico florida the northern bahamas sections of haiti getting in on some of the action we can also see some rainfall still left over rainfall in store for sections of st vincent and the grenadines some of that rainfall affecting sections of northeastern south america so french guyana Suriname, guyana southern venezuela sections of colombia sections of the border of panama and costa rica as well you know that when both maps from the euro and the gfs are in consensus like this the chances of actually happening are much higher all right so that's it for today thanks for watching